Hey everybody, I'm Steph Storm. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to reduce visual clutter with some stylish, kind of sneaky storage ideas. Now, in today's video, I'm just going to be focusing on my entryway, but really, these ideas can be incorporated just about anywhere in your home. Come on, I'll show you. Everybody has stuff, right? And not all of our stuff is decorative. We need it, but we don't always want to see it. Now I know the first step before we organize is always to purge. But let's be honest, even after we purge and we get rid of some stuff, we still have stuff. So let's hide some of this stuff. No, I don't mean shove it in the closet or stuff it under the bed. We'll give it a permanent home. This is the before shot of my entryway, and these are the mainstay Walmart cubes that are stacked on top of each other. I do plan to reuse them, but I'm going to change the configuration and freshen up the look. I've had it like this for a couple of years now, and I'm ready for a change. It may be hard to tell in this picture, but the cubes are an off-white or a cream color. So I gave them a fresh coat of bright white paint to match the IKEA cabinet on the other side. If you missed this IKEA shoe cabinet makeover, I'll insert the link so you can go back and check it out. Now you see this metal file box I have on the top shelf? That's the first thing I want to work on. Again, I'll be using the marble peel and stick wallpaper that I got from Amazon. Just cut to size, peel it, and stick it. Use an X-Acto knife to make a nice clean edge. Then all you have to do is trim off the excess paper. The outside of the box came out really nice. But now let me show you what's hiding in there. VHS tapes. I know! Does anybody else still have these? Okay, in my defense, these are home movies of our high school and college events and of our kids growing up, so I can't get rid of these yet. I have legitimate plans to transfer them to digital format and then get rid of the tapes. Now to further add to the disguise, I got these artificial Monstera plants from Amazon. After pressing the leaves down flat and arranging them into place, I just put them down in the file box. To you, a marble planter box. To me, cleverly hidden storage. Now take a look at these marble print fabric bins that I found on Amazon. Love these! I alternated the pattern of the bins with the solid and the marble so that it wouldn't be too overpowering with all marble and too plain and boring with all solid. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Here are some things I have hiding in these bins that are practical for me to store in my entryway slash living room. I won't show you what's in all of the bins, but I just want to give you an idea of a few things that could be stored in the entryway. In one of the bins, for example, I have some cards and games, and I also have a place for incoming mail to be sorted later. I like to use this bin for overflow contents to restock my purse as I'm headed out the front door. 
Now in a pandemic, we're gonna need our masks, our sanitizer, some tissues, maybe even some travel size Lysol. I even have some extra sunglasses to switch out. You know, stuff. It's so convenient to have these things right at the front door. We don't buy DVDs anymore, but these are a few of our favorites that I plan to keep. <clears throat> but in this bin, I've reserved it just for my guests. We are a no-shoes home, so I like to offer washable slippers, socks, foot spray or foot powder for them to use in their shoes, tissue, a shoe horn, some shoe polish, even ponchos if it starts raining when they're leaving my house. These are just a few things that I like to offer to my guests when they come in and it helps them to feel comfortable and welcome while they spend time visiting with us. Maybe you're like me and you don't have a coat closet. I have a bin just for winter hats, a bin for winter scarves, stacked in a way that I can see them all, and a separate bin for gloves and headbands. You know, not having a coat closet would otherwise mean that I would have to store these things in my clothes closet. But this is a much better solution. It's more convenient and it makes more sense to store them right at the front door where I need them. If you're finding these practical suggestions to be helpful, remember to scroll down and press the like button. Now on to my final suggestion for stylish storage. Of course, if you have the space, it's great to have a bench to be able to sit down and put your shoes off and on, but does it only have to be a bench? Or could it be storage too? I'm a Yaya, and this is where I store all my granddaughter's toys when she visits. Inside the storage ottoman, I'm using this trunk organizer to separate or categorize her toys. She's got a place for stuffed toys, musical instruments, a dress-up section, dolls, and a bath time toys, along with coloring books and crayons. Does it always look organized like this? No way, especially when she's here. But at least there's a place to hide it all away when she's not here. I hope this was helpful. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And shh, don't tell anybody what's in my planner boxes. That's our little secret. Come back next week for the complete reveal of my entryway. I'm preparing for you some really cool wall art and an unexpected furniture piece to share. I'm Steph Storm, and you'll see me next time.